Penelope Featherington! For goodness sake, Penelope, stop your pacing before you give me indigestion. Penelope, put down that book at once. You shall confuse your thoughts. Please, worth anything. What? Me books. Penelope? Books can be worth something, can they not? Do you not think so, Mama? How many times must I warn you to be wary of that window? Ma. Out. Mm. Out. Do you wish to appear like a befreckled beggar spending all day in the sun? <laughs> of course not, Mama. My apologies. Apologies, Mama. Is it to be a baby? That will be enough. Could you stop your interruptions? I was really asking. We were just saying what an eligible match Lord Featherington would make. To whom? You. He's our cousin. Oh, Penelope. Penelope. Mama would never allow me to wear a dress like this. Mine's perfect. And mine is yellow. Not uh, yellow enough, I think. <laughs> Mama. Mama might I go play with Eloise. Maybe does not play, Penelope. I am off to the market with my maid, Mama. I have just a tiny bit of pin money left under. Give me, Mama. Uh, might I go promenade for suitors with Eloise? Very well, then. Might I return to the modiste? I need new ribbons. Not now, Penelope. So the answer's no, Penelope. You must stop wasting your precious time on such pointless pursuits as writing silly letters. Colin Bridgerton is no more your friend than I am the next Catherine the Great. A woman reduced to running her own business. I wonder her mind is so scattered. Do not forget to bid Prudence, Philippa, or even Penelope farewell as you go. Now wipe your hands. Someone should think you're a commoner. Make haste. We can't be late. <laughs> <laughs>